and welcome class to Alexander's War. As you may recall, when we left off with the Greek, our civilization was falling. Alexander, or the program which contained his consciousness, had been corrupted and destroyed. The scientists posited that instead of being destroyed, the program had been taken or sent somewhere entirely different. Now I have tracked down where it's gone. And right now, we're just seeing some inklings, some introductory imagery of the time period in which Alexander finds himself. Obviously, dragons, as far as we know, never existed. So what exactly is going on here is something which will be interesting to find out. So, where is this that we found ourselves? Very quaint looking medievalist village. Okay. Uh, that's not a technology that we've seen any time in history. Could this be the future, though? I thought this was a historical record. Here we are. Farglow. The place where our disciples become true dragon slayers. What? And today, the honor is yours. Okay, what? Dragon Slayers? Alright, we've got some options here. Uh, let's see what's going on. This is Alexander. Obviously, he's been doing something uh, between the time that we saw him last in the end of Greece and now when we're picking up with him, but I wonder exactly what. Uh, what will be going on in there? You'll have to see for yourself. Don't be so apprehensive. You'll be fine. This lady road is not very helpful. This is a momentous step in every slayer's life, but few have fared badly afterwards. Okay. They are quite simple. Seek out the men and women who reside here and benefit from their knowledge. Okay, so we're going to be doing some, uh... some research, it looks like. That shouldn't be too difficult. That may sound a bit vague, but don't worry. Farglow will explain itself. Will it now? I'm not so sure, but uh, I guess it's up to us to find out. Uh, so I guess you're not coming with me. Though I should very much like to enter the village again, I am forbidden to do so. Only once in their lives may dragon slayers enter it, as disciples. Disciples, okay. So clearly this is a place we'll never come back to. In any case, it would be imprudent to join you. This is a part of the journey each slayer must walk alone. Does she keep calling them slayers? What has Alexander been up to? Okay, see you later. So how does that ship work? Strange symbol of hand clutching a serpent. Surrounded by laurels. The laurels, at least, seem Grecian in design. So... So there's some real-time movement controls here. Oh, okay. Jump. Move around. Looks like Alexander's kept himself in pretty good shape. Never a fan of rabbits. Oh, nice jump kick, but you missed. L to access the quest log. Oh, let's see. Ah. I'm taking it this is Far Glow, where we are meant to go to become. Disciple Dragon Slayers. So let's let's head in there. And see who this gentleman the is. The disciple arrives. Let me bid you a fond welcome to Farglow. 
Alexander was always an arrogant man. I prefer to be called slayer rather than disciple. Such a belittling word, disciple is, wouldn't you say, for one who has since the age of ten been groomed to become the elite of man's warriors? Uh, sure. But don't you worry. You earn the title of dragon slayer soon enough. How do I do that? I presume Commander Road has been rather cryptic about what you're supposed to do here, and I can't reveal much more. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. In fact, I have but one thing to add. Morgana is waiting by the waterfall. Find her, and the purpose of this day shall become crystal clear. Well, this man is no help, so I'm not going to talk to him anymore. Slayer. And head in here. Oh, goodness, this is a tiny village. It's so small. Okay, let's see. Uh, who's this person? He to talk. Wait a minute. Welcome to Farglow Slayer. She sounds creepy. It's what the imps used to call the place when it was first built. Imps? Imperials? Is this is a Roman village? They were used to black and star-dotted skies only, but from then on they saw fires glow from afar. I think this woman is insane. Somehow, the settlers learned of the name their hamlet went by, and soon they adopted it themselves. <sighs> okay, tell me a little more about this place, crazy lady. Farglo used to be a small hunter community until it was destroyed by the Black Ring during the Great War. Black... Ring? Is it... Is that Montezuma's people? I don't... When the war was over, a group of powerful wizards and warriors chose to... Wizards?! A ...retreat, where once the town had stood because okay. of its remote location. This, this lady's crazy. The villagers live here again. We tend to the houses and do all kinds of little chores for them. Okay, psycho. In We're return, gonna get out of here. A quiet life up here, safe and far away from the evils that roam the land. I'm sure you have a very safe and quiet life here in what is clearly an insane asylum village. Crazy lady, goodbye. Yeah, out of my face. These chickens. Come back here. Yeah, that's right. Oh, what's this? A chicken leg! Another one to add to the collection. Come back here. Yeah! What can I say? Alexander likes Shiny. chicken. <clears throat> so we're supposed to go uh, down by the river. That looks like on fire or something. So I'm going to go away from the fire. And what's this over here? an inn of some sort, maybe? I guess we'll find out. Uh, pigs. Maybe this lady can help us. Don't mind me, Slayer. I just take care of the piggies here. Can't teach you no special magics. Another crazy lady. This is definitely an asylum. I'm going to be careful, though, because as we can see, she's carrying some dangerous-looking weapons, and I don't want to get shanked uh, in a pig pen. Something like that. Me and my husband, Tom, were the Farglow's pig farmers. I'm going to bet you 100% that that pig right there is Tom. Though I'm the one doing the actual herding. He's more the town's cook. I'm sure he is. I'm sure he makes a delightful... pig... knuckle soup. I like it that way because I enjoy the outdoors. And Tom, he just likes to stick close to the cask of ale in the kitchen. I would be drunk a lot, too, if I lived in an insane asylum village Hi, with Slayer. crazy people. Goodbye, new crazy lady. She is heavily armed. I'm going to avoid her. Uh, he looks like he's given up on life. What's this here? Passion of the Divine. Okay, we'll deal with that later. Right now, we're just going to... Oh, rabbit. This is actually quite beautiful, isn't it? It's a very nice, calm, relaxing location for them to store the crazy people. If I had to extrapolate, I would say that Alexander has been sent here. No! Oh. To combine that brew with last night's herbal distillation might cause an implosion. 
Another crazy lady talking to herself. Wonderful. Try it anyway. You can be so irresponsible sometimes. Mm hmm Yeah, you just keep talking to nobody. And... That's easy for you to say. You can't die a second time. <sighs> okay. What is with all these nut jobs? Good to see you, disciple. I am Morgana, the Archmage of Fogland. And I am Rupert, the King of Jingenham. I... What's going on? Lady Morgana. Uh, why were you just talking to yourself? I don't draw attention to a crazy person's craziness. Good. Oh, everybody makes a bit of a fuss when a soon-to-be slayer arrives. Yeah, fresh meat. We all have our fields of study and a good life to lead, but the village can get a tad dull now and again. I'm sure. In between medication times. But let's turn to the reason you are here. The ritual that will make you a true dragon slayer. Mm hmm. A ritual secret to a hypnotic juggling act. You have a smart mouth on you. This is a serious ritual, though. So do pay attention. I am going to humor her. To be a slayer is to hate the dragon, but also to understand it. So it's a lot like being a husband. No other order in Revelon takes the old military adage, know your enemy, quite so seriously as the Academy does. Okay, are we talking biblical knowledge, or...? To attain this goal, I will infuse you with the memories of dragons. It will make you understand their language, motives, powers, and weaknesses. Right. It will also color your eyes silver, the noted characteristic of the Slayer, which will enable you to see the spirits of the dead. So I'm assuming this is some kind of medication with hallucinogenic side effects. The ritual has a side effect. Okay. But nothing can be done about that. Alright, let's just, let's dive right in here. Then prepare to become a dragon slayer. Prepare to become an inmate of Crazy Town. Whoa! Smoke and mirrors! She forgot her pen. Oh, okay. Hallucinations. Yep, right. And that's that. You might experience some dizziness for a while. Some disorientation, perhaps. I wonder if this is a derivative of LSD or an opiate. The journey starts again, what the friend. hell is that? Your path is an empty page. This is a bad trip Alexander is having. Of adventure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, adventure is alright. But before you trot out of here in search of dragons and distinction, make sure you meet the veterans here. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go meet the people who've been in Crazy Town the longest and figure out Alberic, how Arabia, they've survived. And Gawain. Gawain? More about their trade than anyone you are likely to meet. Is this related to Arthurian? And don't forget Isabel. The gift she will share with you, aside from the dragon memories, is the most prominent one you'll receive in Fogler. Okay, I do not want to get busy with a crazy lady. So maybe I'll just Divine avoid Isabel. Blessing, Slayer. Okay, goodbye. The last ingredient needed to achieve the effect of luminosity still eludes me. What? Maybe oh shit. Some Shared hallucination. That might solve the brightness issue, but wouldn't exactly improve the taste. Let's see if we can talk to this hallucination. What's the matter with you? You look like you've seen a ghost. <laughs> I am on hella drugs, ghost man. Ah uh, yes. There's that famous wit of his. Slayer, meet Toro. What's death like? Not all it's cracked up to be. I was expecting Holy shit. Why is there a face on his no. chest? I'm still doing my old job. Only none of my former clientele can see me. Very happy. Okay. Why, the Hall of Echoes, of course. Don't tell me you've never heard of it. Not even once. It's a transitional place between our world and the next. Great. Rumor has it your memories are eaten away so that you can enter the afterlife unburdened by the sorrows of this life. So the Hall of Echoes is solitary confinement. Good, good. 
An unnecessary precaution, if you ask me. I have mostly fond memories of my time in Riverlong. I'm sure you do. I'm gonna get out of here. You know where to find me. Yes, How in my nightmares. Yes, I'm gonna General get out of here. As quickly as oh. Like he was again. Yeah. I just, you know, I am baffled by what's going on here. I think we may be participating in some kind of hallucination, uh, which has affected our uh, Alexander, which has afflicted him. But for now, we're just going to. Oh, what the hell was that? Okay, that was the that was the pigs. Uh, okay, still going to avoid the heavily armed crazy lady. And I'm just going to get back across the bridge and see if we can leave the. I see you have met Morgana. That means we can proceed. Do me a favor and think of something, anything, but don't speak aloud. Another crazy lady to humor. Okay. What it must be like to face a dragon. It's not uncommon to have feelings of anticipation and eagerness, or even fear, when one has yet to face a betrayer. Betrayer? So like ex-wife now? I don't... Surprised? Surely you have heard of the gift of mind reading that dragon slayers possess. I have now. Maybe. You have also wondered how they come by such an amazing ability. In the past five seconds since I've heard of it, yes, absolutely, I have wondered. The answer is easy. I bequeath it to them. You know what? I would love to read minds. Let's do it. Of course. It is one of the reasons you are here. Great. Where are your pants? Do, does nobody have pants in this village? Now stand still and look into my eyes. Sure, sure. Right. The secrets of all shall be revealed to you. Mind read. Well, that's straightforward. Okay. <laughs> nice try, but you can get out of my head now. Not even Morgana can read my mind. Definitely Alexander's hallucination. Be aware, though. Strong minds are difficult to read and come at a cost. So you will have to work on your skills if you want to perfect this art. Right. It was a skill given to dragons only until dragons. a scroll was discovered that bore the spell. Right. A slayer found it among the ruins of a dragon knight's citadel tower, and we have used it ever since. Fare thee well, slayer. I'm gonna get it here. So it seems what we have here is the electronic dreams of Alexander's mad AI. Which, uh, interesting enough, we're going to see what we can find out. Uh, we're supposed to talk to these veterans. This guy sitting on a chair. That guy. Whoa! Whoa. Okay, not going to talk to him. Is that a pumpkin? Whatever. So this is Gawain. Oh, he was supposed to be Alex or Arthur, rather, the purest knight of Arthur. Let's talk to him. Your eyes shine brighter than they did before you came to Farglow, Slayer. What awesome hat he's got. My skills have been dulled. Newborns have it tough, but they're Newborns. not as helpless as actual infants. I should hope not. Can we mind read him? Only the Divine could read my thoughts, Slayer. And he didn't even have the Dragon skill. Great. That was a waste of time. You'll regain your talents quicker than you may think, and I can help you with that. Are you going to give me your awesome hat? Gawain's the name. Old Paladin of the Divine Order. Right. My life has always been that of the Blade. It is an art I will teach you, should you want me to. Sure. Excellent. I'll give you the warrior powers and a sword. Warrior powers, which include hitting things with swords. Find Sonya. She provides the live targets around here. Mm -hmm. The Farglow Connection. 
please choose your rewards. Let's see. Uh, money or experience? I'm, I'm going to take money. Can I get experience too? No, just one. That sucks. Yep, let's do it. I've got a really stupid looking sword. All right. Someone has a new shine in the eyes. And look at you. Not a scar on your rosy skin. You're a newborn if ever I saw one. But I can't mind reader. Not even going to really try. Always had the looks. I won't apologize for them. <laughs> Nor should you. But you'll soon find out they'll get battle-worn again pretty quickly. I'll take that bet. The best thing to do is to get back in the saddle as quickly as possible. Just say the word and I'll give you something to fight. Something to fight. Now, we are coming up to the end of our time together. Let's just get some information here. No, you can change disciplines as much as you like. Alberic, Aravir, and Gawain don't mind. But you okay. can only have one of the discipline spells on you when you leave the village. Warrior, wizard, or ranger. Alright. Later you can train all three paths again if you like. So I am going to get out of this asylum. Welcome, Slayer. See you later. Now, this is an ugly looking sword. Uh, before we go and do anything with it, uh, we're going to go around the village, see who else we can talk to. I'm going to see if I can mind read the crazy lady we met when we came in. Because I bet that would be interesting. Hi, friend. Here's hoping your initiation fares well. Sure, creepy lady. Yeah, let's read that mind. Oh, poor Gerald. He's such a ferocious reader and has read every book in town. You said voracious wrong in your head. Next time I travel to the city, I must remember to bring him back some new ones. Okay. Bye, Slayer. So we have read her mind and learned that somebody likes to read books. Which is great. Well, let's see if there's anyone else we can mind read. I guess that's pretty cool. An old dude on a chair. You can read minds. Your eyes are silver. The initiation is almost done. I'm proud to know the new Dragon Slayer. Okay. Can't read his mind, I guess. It's back here. Ooh. Oh. All right. Okay. So, kicking greater than sword so far. Shiny. You want to become a blade master, it seems. My brother swears by his mace. A fearsome weapon, I can tell you that. Ah, it's great against rapists. Okay, another crazy dude in a robe. And who's this? I'm just going to talk to him, and then we have to end the simulation for now. That I hear the sound of a newly stocked coin purse. Oh, let's trade then, Slayer. Oh, this is Gerald. Ooh, and I have a captivating book. Really? My, I, I haven't read this work yet. I'll bet you haven't, because I just made it up. Oh, what a stroke of luck this is. Well, you'd think that with so many great minds about, there'd be more to read in this place. Yeah, I think they deliberately want the inmates not reading. Finally, I don't have to spend the evening listening to those veterans' big heroic stories for the thousandth time. Okay. Ooh, lowered his prices. I guess he's a merchant. Thank you, Dragon Slayer. Here, take this with my heartfelt gratitude. Take this lowered price? Let's read his mind. Yeah. My prices may be steep. Who can blame me? It's not like I'm vending on Rivertown Market. I bet I can exploit that. Remember, better prices for these types of wares on Rivertown Market. Don't I know it, Slayer? Don't I know it? But what can I do? I run a small business. Talking to the air. I'm over here. Tell you what, though. I'll give you, and only you, a special discount. I'll bet you will. Dang, he lowered his prices so twice. some extra coin, and you'll get a little something extra as well. Well, thank you. Some other time then, Slayer! See you later, Gerald. Alright, we're gonna leave it there. 
and we're going to pick this up again very soon to figure out what's going on in Alexander's heads. And that is a giant wheel of cheese and a cake? Alright, so essentially the gist of this is that Alexander be tripping balls, and we are going to learn more about it and travel through his delusion in the next time. So until then, all the best. <laughs>